This is going to be a quick demo of Claude code. I'm going to use it to add a feature to my GitHub repository here, where the list of files here is displayed also in the readme. Okay, so here we are. I'm in the checkout of that repo. I'm going to run Claude with dangerously skip permissions. So I don't have to constantly tell it that it's okay to do things. And I'm going to tell it, um, add GitHub actions workflow to this repo. It should, um, run on every commit to main and update the readme file to include a markdown list of the other .md files here, showing the date in a nice way. Use Python. See what goes. Okay. So I've given it its command. It's showing through. It says, okay, I'll create a GitHub, GitHub actions workflow that runs a commits to main and updates the readme. It's exactly what I asked it to do. And it's given itself a little to-do list. So it's going to explore the repository structure, create that workflows directory, write the Python script, create GitHub Actions workflow to run it, and update. it's updating the to-dos already. So now it's working on the explore repository structure. There's not much in here. There's only about five files. Um, it's creating that workflows directory. That should be pretty quick. Um, it can run mukdir slash dash p. Um, and now it's going to write a Python script. Now this is going to be the interesting one because I want it to update my readme.md file in place. Um, I wonder what mechanism it's going to choose for doing it. Let's see what happens. It says it's still exploring. Okay, here we go. So wrote 53 lines to update readme.py. You know what? Let's pop into this directory and run Z so we can see what it's doing. So here's that update readme script that just wrote. It gets the MD files and it passes the date from the file name. That's nice. Um, month name dot title. Where does it get month name from? Oh, it's in the file name, obviously. Um, it's going to look for read and then it's going to find the archive bit in content. So it's going to look for that header and it'll either replace that header or it'll add it if it's not in there. That seems pretty smart. Okay. So now it's creating a GitHub actions workflow YAML file. Um, and here we go. There's dot GitHub slash workflows. Um, I wonder what rope project is. That's not something I asked for. We'll figure that out on it in a moment. Um, I'm actually going to run that update readme files file just to see what happens. In fact, I'll do it by let's make myself a temp slash test. I'll copy readme to temp test. I'll copy update readme to temp test. Uh, let's see what happens when we, you know what, I need to copy, uh, what was the thing? I need to copy those, those other markdown things here as well, don't I? So now if I run Python update readme, it says updated readme with two files and it did actually work. That's looking pretty promising. Okay. May, 2025, June, 2025. That's exactly what I want it to be doing. So how are we doing on these GitHub workflows? It looks to me like it's got a little bit stuck. That's interesting. I wonder what's happening here. It says exploring. Yeah, I'm going to interrupt it and say, Python is good now to the workflow. And let's see what happens. Okay, well, it's started ticking through the tokens, so surely something is going on. There we go. This is the update readme.yaml. And I know enough GitHub Actions to be able to look at this, and that looks correct. Push to main, check out the repo, set up Python, looks fine. Python update readme, and then it's going to commit and push. That looks great. Okay, um, great. Commit and push it. Okay. Normally I do the commit message myself, but in this case, let's see, let's see what, um, what Claude does. Well, oh, it hasn't pushed it yet. On, it says your branch is head of main, get, use git push, running git push. Oh, error. That's because I edited the readme through the git web interface, um, since my last checkout, but it did a git pull rebase, did a git push. And boom, now the real, there's the archive section that does seem to have worked. I'm concerned that 
Claude had already run the script there. Okay, so to test this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that and I'm going to see if removing it causes it to be re-added again. See if archive is added again. Okay, so I've removed the archive section. We go back here, we can click into actions and see, yep, it's running. This is the workflow that Claude wrote. Runs the update. Unable to access monthly. I know what's happened here. I know what's happened here, but let's see if Claude code can fix that. So what's happened here is that on in GitHub action workflows, you need to specify a couple a permission block at the very top. You need to say, say which permissions the token that is assigned to the workflow needs. It says, oh, it doesn't know that trick. No, you need to add permissions to the YAML. Let's see if that's enough because I can't remember the details. Maybe it will know. Let's see what happens. Um, I normally put that in the root, but to put that in the job, that might work. Let's see. Of course, when it tries to push, it's going to have to rebase yet again. Um, just tell it rebase and push. Now, if we go back up here, it should have just done a git push. There we go. And this just did the update readme. So at this point, our readme is, oh, it's got the archive stuff in again because it happened that quickly. Look at this. That's it. It's worked. Everything is working as expected. That's pretty great. That was a, um, that was a fun little demo of what Claude code can do, especially when you, when you unleash it and let it just start running commands.